Bullseye. Hi guys, and as some of you may know, there's been a new release of the Raspberry Pi OS based off um, Debian 11. Our code name is Bullseye. And with this, if you have a newer version of a Raspberry Pi, then you may also get the 20% increase in clock speed to 1.8 gigahertz. We'll show you how to know which version of the Raspberry Pi 4 you have. And if you don't have a later one, we'll also show you how you can increase that clock speed anyway. Be wary because on the Raspberry Pi website, it says that the new, newer model that would increase the clock speed has these three components here in a triangular form. We have a Raspberry Pi 4 with the components and one without the components and yet they both have a B0 chip on board. And when we ran this command on the Pis, it also said it had a B0 chip. So if the longest array of numbers and letters on your chip ends in B0T, then you've got the older version and you have to increase the clock speed manually if you want to, which is what we're going to show you in a bit. But if the chip ends in C0T, then it's the newer one and you already have the clock speed boost when you run Bullseye on it. The Raspberry Pi 400 already runs at the high clock speed because it's got that huge heatsink. But Raspberry Pi have decided that the later versions of the Raspberry Pi 4 um, can run at that higher clock speed. I'm just going to quickly update my Pi OS and then I'll get on to showing you guys how you can change your clock speed manually. I've just put the latest Pi OS onto my ras Raspberry Pi and it's booted up now. You can see I've got my lovely welcome message. I j guess I'm just going to start um, setting up my Pi now. Just two more things before we tell you how to change your clock speed. Firstly, we've decided that we're not changing the clock speed of our Raspberry Pi 4 because it's running our web server and we don't want to risk anything and mess it up. But we will change the clock speed of my Raspberry Pi 400 even though that is already going at 1.8 gigahertz, I'm just gonna change it to 1.9 gigahertz because it's the same process. Also, there's a reason why Raspberry Pi hasn't changed the clock speed of the older version of the Raspberry Pi 4. That's because they think that the newer version is safe enough to have the higher clock speed. But obviously, if you do wanna change the clock speed of your older Raspberry Pi 4, then use your judgment. Obviously, you wouldn't change the clock speed if you had your Raspberry Pi 4 put on top of a boiling hot radiator while mining Bitcoin whilst watching Netflix. With that being said, I've just shut down my Raspberry Pi after setting it up, taken out the um, SD card and ran upstairs to my Mac. I've mounted the SD card on another computer and it's down here as boot. Um, this is the file I want to edit, config.txt. I'm using Vi to edit this, but you can use your text editor of choice. I'm just going to go for 1900. Then I'm just going to save this. There we go. So I'm just going to take out my SD card now. And we'll put that into our Raspberry Pi 400. Look, it's running at 1.9 gigahertz. So it's been overclocked successfully. There are also a few changes to the desktop experience too that we'll have a little glance over. The usual GTK plus two has been improved to GTK plus three. GTK plus is just some software that applications use to draw standard widgets. They are also using a new Windows manager called Mutter that adds cool animations to applications and adds shadows under the application window. And there are many other things for you to discover visually. For example, updates in applications like Chromium, for example. All the details are on our website here, gurgleapps.com. Link should be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, all extra information, again, will be on our website. gurgleapps.com. Yes, yeah, so do check that out. Link should be in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.